In this video, we're going to look at frames. Frames in Dakinta are like little containers. You can add your widgets in and move them around in a collection. Um, they're really useful for organizing the way that your um, interface is laid out. So let's see how they work. Here, um, this is the window we're going to be creating. Um, and you'll notice as I move this window around, it expands all the labels in there to fill up whatever space we have. Now, I'm using pack in this one, but in, um, in this example, we're gonna have a label packed on the top, a label packed in the bottom, and in the middle here, we're gonna put a frame in, and in that frame, we have the, the middle three labels all packed in. So let's see how that works. So, um, from our previous videos, I've got Tekinter imported, the window is all set up as the root window, um, and I have created um, our five labels as we have in the past and they haven't changed. And we have the main loop down the bottom there. So to start with, um, if I show you what happens by pack label one and label five into the window, and there's a new thing we have in here called expand. Now I haven't said put them in um, any particular side, um, but I've said just pack them in one after the other and I want you to expand to fill up as much space as you can in both X and Y. So if we save that and run that, and this we're going to see because one is just going to expand beyond what and actually make no space. It comes in and it fills up everything and five doesn't actually pack in. So what we're going to do is we're going to create in the middle of those two a frame. So I'm just going to show you here how you make a frame. So the frame is another object, another widget in your um, in your Tekinta interface. So you need to give it a name, so which I have, uh, middle frame, and basically I've called it middle frame, and it is a frame, and it goes into the root window. That's the container that it's put into. Um, and I also need to, because it's a widget, I need to actually pack it into that window. So middle frame, pack, and I'm gonna fill both, and I want it to expand in X and Y, um, so it actually does fill out as much space as possible. So once I've done that, I'm going to um, now put the labels in. Now there's a couple of differences, um, well, there's the same difference for all three labels here, is that label two, three, and four are no longer packed into the root. The place they go into, they belong in the middle frame, which is the frame we just made. Okay, so the label goes into middle frame, that's a change. So you see in label one and label two, it was going into the root window. These now go into the middle frame. And now I will create a label on each one. Um, and if you, uh, I'll pack those in, sorry, into the middle frame. And I want to fill both sides, expand left, and go to the side left. So they're gonna go one, two, three, the leftmost spot. So that should work, let's have a look. Yes, so we have up the top here, a button goes into the root window, then a frame goes into the root window. And into that frame, we pack the leftmost, we put the two in, and then left again, as far left as we can go, we put three in, as far left we go, we put four in, and then underneath that frame, we then pack in, in order, five. And um, they all it packs into the root window, not into the frame. So that's how, um, just a simple example of how you can use frame. Um, and you can put frames in fr inside frames. Um, so they're really a useful tool for being able to organize um, your interface.